Hello there. Home is the variant hunter. I've been in here for a while. How are you doing? Only one can be here. Only one. Yeah, I just want to show you a few variants I've picked up. I've just been sat in here as well for a couple of minutes. I was just thinking, wow, I, I do miss making those quick shots. And I think it was about a year ago I picked up the series, but, um, you know, I can't do them. I can't, I've got to wait until we know what, you know, VC188 is, but hopefully we'll know before, before long. So these are a few, uh, just bear with me. Oh, by the way, I picked that up. Look at that. I, uh, I'm going to review this really soon. Just wanted to show you that very quickly. Can't wait. Anyway, a little teaser for you. Something coming up. So the things I've picked up, and I'll, I'll put them on the old... Uh, I've got it back in here. I've had this in here for a long time. A long time. The famous ironing board and the squeaky chair. So these are what I picked up. I just thought I'd make a note of them. So Sith Trooper. Well, it's not a Sith Trooper. It's the, uh, the clone trooper from Revenge of the Sith. Sand Trooper, B-Wing, Akbar, and Wedge. I'm just going to have a quick look at them, and then I'll show you them out of the star cases. Focus the camera. Where do we begin now? Well, since I'm pointing the camera up there, you'll notice on that row of Kian Farlander's B Wing pilots there, you'll see right in the middle is my first ever vintage 80s B Wing. And I missed the chance to get one in the summer that was unpunched and really clear bubble. But I managed to get that via my man, John Ruler, the action figure grader. He helped me find that and it got sent from America, so that's that. This is the variant now I have. I have now three variants of the Clone Trooper from Revenge of the Sith. Where is he now? I can't work out which one's the new one. I've always had that one, the silver. Then I have always had that one, which is the unpunched later variant. But then this one here is the equivalent of the silver one because it is factory punched, as is that one. The very early vintage collection. And we're talking early stuff. This is the, uh, the teens, this 15. That was factory punched on a regular card there. And this is the later reissue which is obviously unpunched like most of them were. Like all these were the early ones, that's uh, another one, factory punched, factory punched, factory punched, you know, anyway, whatever. Oh, and uh, yeah, and him, I believe. And then obviously they did a reissue of him, which is uh, one I really want. As you know, which uh, is like that one, the equivalent of that in a way. Anyway, waffling on, waffling on. What else have I got? Sand Trooper. Now, it's quite funny this, you see. It all began with a guy on eBay or well, I've bought stuff from before. I bought this from him, this guy. I can't remember the name of the guy, but still, he had for sale a Sand Trooper, which looks so nice in his photographs. And um, so these were the two I had. What is it now? God, I can't remember. VC14. Oh, yeah. I did know that. VC14. I've always had him. Silver. And I got that one. Not hard to find that, really. And obviously everybody knows this later one, which is... Bloody, I'm terrible at remembering that. 112. Um, that's a completely different figure and the car back and everything still. But with regards to this trio here, this is the new one I've got. And it's just like the silver one, you see? The, the sky is a certain tone. It's like that kind of light blue, whereas this one's that deeper, darker blue. But this one, again, is factory punched. So whoever the guy was who sold me these, obviously he had batches of figures. I think he was like one of these people who said they were a reluctant seller as well. And um, so I managed to snag that for a lot less than the other fellow was selling it for. But still, that's what happens. You see, you see something on eBay, then you start a little trail and you, you, you sniff around. And I managed to win that at an auction. So there's three in a row there. They are all variants. These two are very, very close well, but one is silver, and then there's that one, which is the unpunched later reissue, whatever you want to call it. What else have I got to show you? Um, I have got a new Akbar, which you saw right here, which is uh, something I <sighs> give it a blow. It's a cool one, this one. And Akbar for me right now is turning out just like my Gamo collection. Look at all these Gamos in a line. All of those are variants of the Gamorrean Guard. Yes, the Gamorrean Guard. How you doing, Ryan? <laughs> he hates that. So, Gamorian Guard. So, look at these Akbars here. I can't even see what I'm looking at. So, there's the original. That's the first one I ever got, which is the equivalent of what I've just won now. This is the Revenge. And it's the later issue. You can tell by the offers on the back. VC22, of course. But this is Ophelus. See, no thing in the bottom there. 
It's a revenge Ophelus to go with my return Ophelus. Yeah, man. So another variant of that. That's the other one. That's the reissue and punched with this Fett sticker. Then you've got the Canadian Freak. I call it a freak because it's that beautiful blue that we couldn't work out. The whole controversy of the change of colour there. And then there's the Akbar there, which is the latest issue of him. All I really need now is the world's smallest violin playing just for only one Kenobi. All I need now is a vintage 80s. I don't know how much that's going to cost. I did see one on Dark Side Alliance this week. I think it went for 200 nicker, but it looked good, man. I tell you what, the bubble was clear. Um, and what else and then that is it oh and i picked up from star action figures and they're really good star action they uh look at all these notes from a previous video what the hell was that all about retro lion jabber's place i don't know what the hell that was from years ago that these notes here uh he had i, I won it for 29 pounds and it's this one on the left here and it's like the uk variant in a way you know what i mean well it is the uk variant or the european whatever you want to call it because look it's got that sticker on the back there was a time when i used to peel those off until i spoke to my friend Blacked out Ewoks, and he said, keep them on, man, because it proves its variancy with the European market. And then that's the one I've had for years, which is the, the, you know, the US card, which pretty much is the same as that. If I peel the stickers off that one, I'd have that, you know what I mean? Oh, oh yeah, that's also got the fat off of that one there, you see, but still. Fat! That's not fat, that's more! Anyway, so there you go, so now I have two of him. I've been watching him for weeks and weeks and weeks. Star action figures have had loads of wedges and they've had loads of vets recently, speaking of vet. I've got revenge one of them of him from them as well. And um they've got loads of stuff like that. So I don't know where they're finding all this stock from, but I've been eyeing up getting another wedge to have two variants. So I like these variants. You see, there's two um Bon Vimdim's there. I've got loads of pairs up now, like this random stuff. Like you see, I've got two of these guys here, one with the character debut sticker, one without. I've got two of these dudes now. Well, I've got three actually. There's the latest one that came out last year, I think, was it last year or this year? And then two of the original release, but one of them is for the European market. The other, again, just like the wedge you just saw with the FET sticker. I think that's the American one of the things there. Anyway, I'm just sort of <laughs> rambling on here as we do this little tour. I did say I was gonna take some stuff out of the cases, but I don't want this video to be too long. So maybe I'll just give you a close-up look at that classic 80s. B-Wing pilot and that's all I've won. You've got the Sith, Clone Trooper, the Sand Trooper, the B-Wing, Akbar, and Wedge and let's go and get this dude off the wall now and take a look at him. Great stuff. Almost there, almost there. And since he's there as well and he's not in a case, I'll just give you another look at this. Oh, I do want to show you one thing with the Sith Trooper. It's not a Sith Trooper, man. I keep calling him a Sith Trooper. The Sith, Revenge of the Sith Clone Trooper. He's got damage on him, just like my, grie my Grievous. It's a weird factory thing with the Grievous. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's this B-Wing pilot. Thanks, John Ruler, for the tip, man. He's a good guy. He, you know, he let me know straight away, and I claimed it after his intervention or whatever, his comment. One side of it looks more yellow than the other. I presume that's because light was touching it more from the, this side. But there you go. I like the fact I have this now. To go on the wall with my other Kians. B-Wing pilot, meet your younger brother, Kian Farlander. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a really good condition car back, this. Look at that. Really nice. I am on the lookout for another one of these that's the, uh, you know, the unpunched one, like the one I saw in the summer. And, you know, this is the first car back I've got, which has got price stickers on, which I do like that. I wouldn't like it if they were, like, right over the <laughs> Return of the Jedi badge, but they're not, are they? So... There's a classic figure for you. I definitely had that figure as a kid. Loved it. And finally, I'm just gonna show you the Sith Trooper here. Ah! Oh, not a Sith Trooper. Clone Trooper from Revenge of the Sith. And since I'm on it, I might as well get the Grievous as well. Talk to you about this one. Just bear with me a minute, please. Awesome. So here's this Sith Trooper. Oh my God, that's so annoying. He's not a Sith Trooper. He's a Clone Trooper from Revenge of the Sith. I don't really want to talk about Sith Troopers because they were such a bloody letdown. Um, this is the... Look at this. This is good. Grievous. I've had this since 2016. Look at that. That's factory damage. That. Look at it. I don't know how that has happened, but... It's almost like where the cutter... Who, whoever was operating the cutting machine... Made the 
cut go down to the card and then realize oh i'm not in the right place and i, I, I don't know what that is but that's it's amazing but check this out this is my latest oh my god i can't believe this i've just got the wrong one off the wall that's not the one i won a couple of weeks ago oh, hang on a minute it's this guy here oh bear with me a moment please right nice that this has got the fet sticker on it as well this one doesn't obviously is that oh yeah look it's obviously US, that's got no leaflet inside it, which is nice, that one does. It's funny, isn't it? I don't, I don't know, anyway. Look at that. Look at that. I love that. I did a video a, a while ago, I never uploaded it, because I, I wanted to kind of reshoot it and do it better, but I wanted to look at all my card backs from years gone by. Some of this stuff goes back to, you know, 2015 and 16 and around that time. I think I started collecting TVC at the right time then because it didn't go for silly money then. So, But all these things, some of them have got like really unique bits of damage which I never even knew they had. I never even cared they had them. Nowadays, I prefer stuff to be pristine. But uh, I love them. I love the fact that they have them. Like my Django Fett's got this weird kind of kink in it and tiny, tiny little dings. Not offensive, but now it just kind of makes it mine, you know, it makes it unique. And this certainly is like that. You know, it's got that thing on it which but I find that so freakish the fact that it has that and um, so does this so I don't know what was going on at the factory but anyway thank you for watching that I hope I've not made you flight sick god damn it I've whipped the camera around something chronic but let's finish the video in a calming way by just panning it slowly <laughs> thank you for watching the video if you are new around here subscribe I have all sorts of tours and videos and blah 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 so check out my uh, playlists and see if there's anything else you fancy if you are new around here. If you are not, thank you for watching. As usual, tap the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you on a future video. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.